So this determines the starting order for races 14 and 15 in the championship sequence. We'll have more than 30 races in this year's championship story. The lights go on green with a Seiko watchtower at the end of the pit lane. I sent a note to Shane last night and to Cam just saying, hey, well done, guys. Great display. I thought Shane's response was telling. He said it was great fun. So he's got the fastest first sector, and that number... Todd Hazelwood's now done the fastest middle sector, so that's a great job by Todd. At the moment, we're inside one minute remaining for this qualifying session on the Provisional Armour All Pole. It's Will Davison. He went early, 19-2. So there doesn't appear to be the same level of speed out there today that we saw yesterday. And that be, can be to do with temp, track temp, track condition, whether it's rubbered up. Van Gisbergen comes up into third. Reynolds is currently sitting in second. Now Hazelwood punches one in. Van Gisbergen to the top, the first in the 18s, quickly eclipsed by Waters, done an 18.5. It's Waters over Van Gisbergen by, what is that, Scapey? Six ten thousandths of a second. I can't even work out the number. It's ridiculous. It's 0. .0006. Waters over Van Gisbergen, followed by Di Pasquale. Will Brown jumps up into fourth position. Feeney, Davison, Randall, Winterbottom now jumps up. 19 spots, David Reynolds back into third. What a great conclusion to this session. And it hasn't finished, so LeBrock comes up 13. Thank you. Pye comes up 12. Heimgartner up 16 positions to get to the back of the second row. Holdsworth now up to fifth. So Waters, Van Gisbergen, same front row as yesterday. Reynolds, Heimgartner, Holdsworth, Di Pasquale, Brown, Feeney, Winterbottom. We're going to get some numbers for you to understand just how close that is between two cars. It'll be barely measurable. And Aaron Noonan just said that's the closest ever margin for pole at Winton. Unbelievable. <laughs> great session, great driving, great teamwork. Waters over Van Gisbergen, Reynolds next, then Mostert, Heimgartner, Holdsworth, Di Pasquale, Brown, Feeney and Winterbottom is our 10. Next group of cars headed by Jack LeBrock. Will Davison, who was sitting on provisional pole with about a minute to go, winds up down there in 12th position. Thank you. Confirming pit exit is open for qualifying for race 15. No response. Come on. Uh, that was... Uh, that's fantastic. And so when Mark and I and the team in the pit lane talk about the intensity and they're looking for half a pound of tyre pressure, a quarter or a half turn of ride height, half a degree of wing, a little change to bump or rebound on the Pedder's Super Shock, some other little tweak to drivability with the way it comes off a corner or a tiny little bit of traction gain somewhere. You'll see roughly half a second gain, and that's the first one. So Will Brown's done, and we see him do this a little bit. He's actually put the fresh tyre on, I reckon, now. So 18.6, that's only half a tenth away from what we saw with 18.5. Well, that's quicker than he went before, Mark. So he yep. did an 18.9 in the session we just witnessed. And uh, so he's 18.6. A third of a second gain with a few minutes between sessions is a chunky gain. Lee Holdsworth has moved up into second position now on an 18-7. Van Gisbergen's done a faster first sector split than anybody else. We're picking him up in the middle of the racetrack now. He's done a 23-7 to the mid-sector. Here he is now out of turn 10. So another nice 28 job. flat. So that's actually on par with Will Brown, who's been fastest in sector two. So this is no surprise. He's going to put Shane somewhere at or near the top of this session. Pick him up in the final corner. It looked like a turn. Well, it came off there strongly. No wheel spin, no sliding. Back of the car was glued. And he goes to the top on an 18-4. Nice lap. I reckon he might just get in here. This is very, very close. He's done the fastest cumulative number to the end of sector two. He leaves it on the left-hand side of the road, and he does <laughs> with an 18.34. That's the fastest of the day. Beautiful lap. Beautiful lap, and it was impressive into the sweeper, Mark. He carried a lot of speed in there, and it got up onto the limiter. So Brody Kostecki's just jumped up into fifth, and Heimgartner now moves it up 22 spots. Position three for him in the RJ Batteries entry. Four victories previously at this location for Mark Winterbottom out of the final corner for the Irwin Racing entry and up towards the chequered flag. At the moment, Frosty is in eighth position. Is there a gain? No, he did a 19 flat on that lap. Now we're on board with Chaz Mostert. He's down in 20th mark, but he's showing two personal bests. A 23.8 and a 28.2 are there or thereabouts. He's giving time away to his old rival Waters in the mid-sector, but he was on par in sector one. So he won't eclipse Cam, but he's certainly going to join the leading group with this lap. 
No, actually it wasn't strong enough in the final sector. So 18-7 for position number 10 for, for Chaz. Uh, P10 in that one, buddy. P10 in that one. So nice job, Andre Heimgartner, to be on the inside of the second row. Beautiful performance and another pole position for Cam Waters. What a great run by this young man who's the Ford front man again today at Winton Motor Raceway. And if you have a look at the top six cars, six different teams in the top six. Confirming those results for you on screen. And this is for qualifying for our final race coming up later on this afternoon. Waters again, this time by the massive margin of 0.1 of a second compared to what we had out there before. Followed by Heimgartner, that's a fine performance. Deeper Squally, they've smartened that car up. Brown, Reynolds, Kostecki. Followed by Winterbottom, Holdsworth and Mostert squeaking into the top 10 right on that last lap. And then Feeney. Jake Kostecki got to 12th in the lap that we observed. Will Davison, LeBrock, Courtney, Randall, Slade, Jacobson, Smith, Hazelwood, Jones, Pye down in 22nd position there. That car hugely rebuilt after the WA round. Big job by them.